Hey, welcome back to 2DG. We've got another Trash Talk beer review. It's been a while. Yeah. You did. You did yeah. Not too long ago. Yeah. Anywho, this is the one unlike any one that we've done so far in the series. They've all been pretty much the same. This one. It's got me scared. Yeah, I'm not too confident. We said this is a joke a couple of weeks ago, and here it is. Budweiser and Clamato, also known as Chelada, but this is the picante version. It was the only one that he could find and in the biggest container. And to be honest, all the uh, I did look up a couple uh, reviews on it, and people said, get the spiced version. <laughs> I can't imagine that helps at all, but we're going to find out. Okay. Plus, yeah, got the biggest can. It was the only can I could find, and... To top it all off, boy oh boy, you get that extra yeah. one ounce free. Thanks, Anheuser Busch and Bev. <sighs> Let's crack it open. Good God! Do you need to shake it or anything? No, it actually, it actually says do not shake. <laughs> all I was right. curious about that as well. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. Yep. There it is. That's interesting. Super carbonated. I mean, really carbonated. You didn't see this, but he, he threw a nasty grimace. It wafted. Oh, yeah. That's wafting. So, appearance. Uh, ruby. Like, uh... Oh One of those God. fruity alcoholic drinks, because that's kind of what it looks like. It does have some floaties in there, which kind of is weird. Not only that, it's got like an oil slick on top. Yeah. All right. And it, you can—I don't know if you can see it, but it's—it's it's not. Those aren't alcohol legs. It's just, you know, like you said, off grime. It kinda. looks like scum, pond scum on there. <laughs> let's uh, let's smell this thing. All right. Admittedly, when it wafted, I was really grossed out, but you get your nose in there. It's not horrid. Mm. Tomato juice with some kind of like Tabasco-esque type of, I mean, it's not spicy, but it's just like a peppery kind of thing in there. It's not too extreme. There's no real beer flavor oh, to it. Oh, swirl it. There's plenty. I, I get it. I've done it. I get tons of uh, that fruity, bubblegummy uh, Budweiser yeast. It's a little bit, but I'm not getting that kind of... I'm not getting that kind of, um... Oh, yeah. Here. Get in there. I... That's mostly the exact same as mine. Here wow. Uh, your, your nose is broke. Well. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a, um, chalada is... I don't. You don't? Okay. <laughs> so, it's more common in Mexico and the Central American countries. They basically just take a cheap beer, generally like Corona or something like that. Budweiser. Budweiser in our case. And then they mix in, basically tomato juice and spices so it's, it's kind of like a bloody mary mix and this but it's also generally if you go clamato it's got clam juice in there too but not all of the essence of a bloody mary mix so tomato juice and spices with crappy beer like corona or tecate or something like that down there but that's in essence what a chilada is there's chunks <laughs> yes there are all right let's uh let's taste it <laughs> Okay, admittedly it is like tomato juice, salted tomato juice in beer. Um, that carbonation that kicks up, really, a, it's almost soda pop. <laughs> um, like you would think it was mixed with Sprite or something, I don't know. Um, it's the lingering oil flavors. Salty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. It's kind of gross. Uh, right off the front is, I mean, you saw on the pour all that massive amount of carbonation, so a real bite. And then it goes straight into that 
salty, like anchovy-ish salt tomato flavor basically all the way through. You get like a hint of spice towards the back, but it's nothing like flavor-wise. It's just a little bit of like a, like a scratchy feeling. Past that, like he was saying with like the Sprite thing, it's not even just the carbonation. There's legitimately lemon-lime flavor in here, and I don't know if it's from the they trashy lime. Lime. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. But it, it legitimately tastes like you put some beer, tomato, maybe a little bit of hot sauce, and then you just topped it off with some Sprite to really spritz it up. The carbonation makes this gross. If it wasn't carbonated, it'd probably be okay. I had tomato soup last night. It's kind of reminiscent of that, just worse. I gotta say too, if you if you pipe that straight down, don't let it <laughs> don't squirrel it around in your mouth. If you pipe that straight down, you can actually taste the Budweiser on the back end too, which in this case is a welcome relief. Here's the thing: if you drink this and like mix it, which I think is what you're supposed to do, but I don't really know. What would you mix it with? More beer? Then maybe, but like. If you can down a whole can of this by yourself, there's something wrong with you, I think, because this is just horrendous. Like, it has that decent flavor, but overall, with, like, the carbonation and the lemon-lime, and it's just not I gotta good. read this. Okay. Merch two incredible tastes. A refreshing Budweiser and the intensely zesty jalapeno kick of Clamato Picante. Well, first of all, let me say there's no intense pepper flavor at all. Drink it straight from the can or add your favorite ingredients to make it yours. Now drinking it from the can you probably won't get the smell which is probably the most off-putting. Um, you won't know there's chunks in it so your typical Budweiser person who's not used to you know. Drink it out of the can. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid there's a big clam stuck at the bottom. You, it's worse. <laughs> so everything that you just said was a lie. Actually, though, it was more, there was more pepper spice that way. Um, oh, man. But the, you still get the smell. <laughs> right before it goes in your mouth, you get this whiff of that nasty stuff. <laughs> and then uh, and then you taste it. Oh, Lord. And, but I did. I did. <laughs> it's like he loves the torture of it. No, I get more... Budweiser flavor out of the glass. This is just okay. It's inherently wrong. Yeah, let's let's skip this stuff. So we're gonna go to rape beer. Um, oh, man, I did get some pepper that time though. Okay. Um, it's under spice herb vegetable, which is very just loose. Yeah, but it's probably accurate in this case, I guess. I don't uh, know so where. this is going to be a little bit different than the trash socks we've done. All the other ones, animal category or something. <laughs> All the other ones have been adjunct lager. This one is a vegetable herb spice beer. So style overall, they gave it a one. Uh, overall, without category, they gave it a zero. So spice herb vegetable beer. Where are you, where are you going? This is in the same categories we've had some dogfish I know. mind you. So God. I'll give it a one. It's not good, mm -hmm. but it's somewhat palatable. I like. I think it's the salt that works for it. Um, yeah, I'll stick with a one. Salt always helps, generally. Um, I'm gonna give it a point five just because I don't believe in giving things zeros. Well, that's a shame because. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is just as atrocious as you can probably get. It wouldn't be bad if there wasn't that disgusting Sprite flavor in there. Like, if it was just gross, clammy tomato juice with a tiny bit of beer flavor, okay. I don't really get much clam flavor. I think that's where the salt comes in. I think that's their kind of half-ass attempt at a seafood. I wonder what happened if you mix up clam, New England clam chowder. He throw you out. <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully, yeah. Um, no, it's it's horrendous. So, uh, overall, uh, zero. I'm never ever ever. Well, yeah, I'm never gonna drink this again. If I do, it'll just be 
because someone doesn't believe I drank it before, and I'll just. Oh, well, that's when you just tell them to go to the channel. I'll try. It. That's true. Check it out here. I have no reason to drink this again. Yeah. But I've never had the regular. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a novelty thing first and foremost. Like that's what they were going for. <laughs> they achieved it. Like for some stupid reason, we keep drinking it. It's a salt. Um. That being said, I'm going to stick with a point .5 only because I look like a hypocrite in three sentences later of me talking. <laughs> it's gross. It serves no place unless you just want to get buzzed, which it, I did try to check the ABV on here, and I didn't see it, and I don't think Rape Beer had it either. So even to, just to get smashed. It doesn't matter. Anything that makes oh, you cringe this much every time you take a whiff or drink. Guess what the ABV is. I'm going to stick it at 5%. That's exactly where it's at. It's it is the same as regular Budweiser. I figured they'd add a little bit more in here. So Well, but it's ABV. Even at 25, I know, but you could have, like, iced it first and then put it in. It's kind of like an ice beer. Mm -hmm. Then it'd be a Bud Ice. It'd still be this crap, though. <laughs> anyway. It'd still be uh, bad. So in order to get smashed, you'd have to drink, like, if you could, mind you, because this is highly carbonated and disgusting. Probably like three of these at 5%. Well, Why would you want to? Yeah, I'm never going to find out. How it. could you? If you can, comment it, because this is just Might bad. have to take one of these to Dark Lord Day or something. <laughs> As a joke. Punched in the face. <laughs> so yeah, let's not run this on too long, because it is what it is. Um, if you've drank this and you like it, leave a comment. If you drank it and you don't like it, please leave a comment, but we're pretty sure we're with, you're in the yeah. majority. Um, if you have any other suggestions of novelty crap like this or any trash talk you want us to do, we've done, I don't know, a decent amount, but not a ton. Yeah, there's a ton of crap beers we haven't done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, other than that... I mean, macro beers. Yeah, so. whatever. All that, yeah. 2DG. See ya.